respected dear family members, my pronouns to you. <coughs> Very recently, our Prime Minister has been rewarded with a fantastic title, indirectly getting selected as one among the top people in the world. One among the top people in the world. Sri Narendra Modi could stand at the 10th position <coughs> when World Economic Forum members, nearly 1,200 people from 125 countries, nearly 280 cities selected Indian Prime Minister as one among the top renowned personalities in the world. In the list, Sri Nelson Mandela comes first, second the Pope from Vatican, fourth Mahatma Gandhi, eighth Steve Jobs and tenth Sri Narendra Modi. From among those who are living in the world, he may be second or third. When our Prime Minister got cornered and are all getting cornered by the leftists and the so-called progressives and the so-called radicals and the so-called atheists from India and the opposition and their comrades are cornering Narendra Modi right from AD 2000 for the last 15 years he could establish his name and firm wherever he could go, whether it is China or Japan or Australia or America or Germany or Middle East countries. And in the near future he will be going to England and the Queen of the England has fixed a lunch or dinner with Sri Narendra Modi, the most reputed position given to a foreign dignitary. <coughs> In China he could get the traditional Tang dynasty level of welcome. But the so-called Indian opposition, having 44 member of parliaments and their allies, are doing and they did their level best to denigrate Narendra Modi, our Prime Minister. And they are even considering our Prime Minister as a as an enemy country's king or Prime Minister. But Narendra Modi could establish himself within 17 months within 17 months in spite of his not being given the visa to America and some other countries. And world over some of the people thought that he is a strong communalist, created the problem in Gujarat riot and massacred many Muslims. Many people thought like that outside India due to Indian opposition's propaganda. But Sri Narendra Modi could withstand all those things and he could come in the second or third position those who are living in the world in their name and fame and selected by World Economic Forum, the top 1,200 people from 125 countries. And Mahatma Gandhi or Nelson Mandela or Steve Jobs, they could establish this name and fame by working for decades and decades together. But Sri Narendra Modi could achieve that in 17 months. That is the greatness of Narendra Modi. And uh, we can be proud of that. The next point what I want to say, the firm decision taken by 
the party workers, the ministers, and the, the Prime Minister of India against what Sri V.K. Singh said. When the Minister V.K. Singh said about uh, the killing of the two children, two babies sometimes, he said nothing of that sort should be uttered and those who are uttering such negatives like throwing a stone or something like that. <clears throat> Opportunities or chances should not be given to the press or media for distorting what the ministers say. No minister can escape from the uttering of the nonsense. <clears throat> Home minister took a strong action <clears throat> and uh, very powerfully Gurumurthy, one of the intellectuals of the BJP circle, could be controlled. Arun Jaitley and others powerfully retaliated the command of Arun Shauri, saying that he is worried that he is not getting a birth in the ministry. And those who are now saying something, the ministers are reacting very sharply and uh, immediate actions are taken. And Srimadhi Sushama Swaraj is being retained as the Foreign Affairs Minister <coughs> in spite of the hue and cry made by the opposition. Nothing happened. Rajasthan Chief Minister and Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister, they are doing their level best and nothing is happening. The strong guts the BJP is demonstrating. Sivasena and Kajriwal, they are doing their level worst for denigrating, but the things are going very smoothly. <coughs> Yesterday, so many leftists, they have given back their awards and Patma Bhushan. Some leftists, some progressives, some scientists have given like this. And uh, that has been strongly reacted by Home Minister Jetli and others, Mengaya Naidu. So give when and wherever it is needed. <coughs> they are giving now. And uh, the actions are also being taken strongly. That's the feeling that BJP is also responsibly handling the negatives created inside. This was needed earlier also, but it is being applied very nicely now. The third point what I wanted to say, here in Kerala House, in Kerala House, Delhi, the canteen was running and the menu in the canteen is written completely in English <clears throat> and only beef curry and beef products are written in Malayalam. Somebody created a problem, issue came up, one Vishnu Gupta from Hindu Sena, some individual organization which has got nothing to do with the Hindus, he complained to the police and police came to Kerala house canteen and they just inquired about it. Such a hue and cry was, was made by the leftist and the congress and the whole blame gone to Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India. The beef curry issue also went on the head of Indian Prime Minister. And what the police did, they inquired whether the beef is there. And very clearly, the Kerala canteen, the Kerala house canteen people said beef is not at all served there. The buffalo meat is served in another canteen within the campus run by the Kerala house canteen workers cooperative society. Listening half of the message for exploiting the voters mind particularly minority in Kerala. Kerala chief minister who used to react logically, rationally 
and in a systematic way, politely mature way, also jumped into the scene and started reacting so violently that he threatened the Prime Minister that he will be taking the issue into the court. The 25 rupees beef curry will be taken to the court. Such a nasty way of comment came, coming from a chief Congress Chief Minister from Kerala, not because the Chief Minister and others are so sincere about uh, the freedom of eating and freedom of expression in Kerala and outside and also in Kerala house. But next week election will be coming in Kerala for the local bodies, municipalities, corporations and panjai. When the leftists are exploiting the opportunity of the mass vote from Muslims and Christians, uh, the Congress might also have thought that when they should not give up the opportunity to encash the vote of the minorities and gets the vote of the minorities. But the truth and fact is that beef is not at all served. It is buffalo meat and a wrongly named as beef. But beef means cow meat. As per English dictionary, beef means cow meat. It is not buffalo meat as per the serving. They are serving only buffalo meat, but written beef meat. That too in Malayalam and all other items are in English. Vishnu Gupta is an ordinary man or boy or young gentleman or young crude man. <clears throat> he was arrested also. But the whole blame of a beef curry so, so denigratingly went to the head of Indian Prime Minister. And the scientists and the so-called historians one after the other, they are giving back their Patma Bhushan, their Academy Award. They are not giving back the awards together because together if they are giving back, it will become one news. Every day the news should come, so one after the other, they are giving back on the beef curry or something like that. How much our politicians and our historians and our scientists are getting denigrated and going down, that we can see. All the 128 crore people, any corner of India doing anything, the whole responsibility should be, according to these people, go to the shoulders of Indian Prime Minister. When huge number of six were massacred during the Congress rule, and huge number of Hindus are being massacred in Jammu and Kashmir, and the terrorists, Muslim terrorists were just celebrating the festival throughout India during Congress rule. These historians and these scientists and the, these so-called intellectuals, they were all keeping quiet with the, their awards and Patma Bhushan. When Professor Kalburgi was killed or shot dead, it's coming under the rule of Karnataka government, state government, according to the democratic federal system. Any death, any killing, any murder taking place in any part of the country, the whole thing comes under the state government rule and if and only if the state government requests the support of central government for inquiry, then only it should be given. Whatever is happening in Karnataka, Belgaum district, <clears throat> ruled by Congress, the Congress is not getting any blame, the whole blame goes to Narendra Modi. When negatives happen in Uttar Pradesh, where the rule is by Samadha Party, and that blame is also going to Narendra Modi. In Delhi, Kejriwal is ruling, anything is happening there, in the federal system, the state government should handle it. But that blame is also going to the Redra Modi. So fantastically, just like in earlier periods, one man is crucified, one man is hanged for the mistake of mistakes or the crime taking place in the in the states where the opposition is ruling. But when the nun, when a Christian nun is killed in Kerala, no problem. Because Kerala is being ruled by a Christian chief minister, so the death of a
ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ നൻ കന്യാസ്ത്രീ ദോബഡി കെ മൗത്ത് ഓപ്പൺ ദർ സൈലന്റ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെന്റ് സൈലന്റ് സോ ദിസ് ആർ ആൾ ബയസ്ഡ് തിങ് ടേക്കിംഗ് പ്ലേസ് വെൻ മമത ബാനർജി ഈസ് റൂളിംഗ് വെസ്റ്റ് ബംഗാൾ and a christian nun got harassed sexually the blame went to narendra modi mamata banerjee was safe how our historians and the so called progressives and the so called opposition politicians and the so called scientists are expressing their biased lenient politically oriented opinion every one should understand that every one should understand that the fourth point what i wanted to say is about the manki bath of our prime minister this time the opposition wanted to stop his manki bath through radio but luckily the election commission did not prevent it but informed him that those connected issues with the election should not come out from his mouth but beautifully he presented everything whatever he wanted to present and he gave reply to everyone who was torturing him directly or indirectly by words or by deeds the grand alliance coming throughout india against him got a deviated and slipped and fallen down when he could give the correct message through radio in the man ki baat it went deep into the mind of the people through the radio and also through the print media and uh, it should not have been delayed whatever is to be told tell it then and there itself justice delayed is justice denied information delayed is information denied the second option better late than never is not suitable in politics in india because a group of opposition alliance and so called scientists so called historians so called intellectuals even though world in avidis knows pretty well that they are all leftist that is the reason why the leftist historians and academicians did not have any impact when they protested against the indian prime minister during his silicon valley visit nothing happened to him he did his level best and he came back in flying colors so these intellectuals and the delhi's leftists are well known outside so they are denigrating themselves and when they are giving back their patma bhushan or their academic award it was not given by narendra modi or bjp government it was given by congress government either given or they purchased from them whatever may be the thing it will be denigrating the previous government or government of india and narendra modi is not government of india government of india is not narendra modi earlier congress used to say india is indira indira is india but nobody has told modi is india india is modi so he need not worry about it and even president of india is showing his real color that he was a congressman and he is a congressman by repeatedly telling a biased view point without mentioning that it is the responsibility of the state government to control such negative thing whether the state is ruled by bjp or ruled by other parties he tells that the whole thing should go to government central government but the federal system that central government should not interfere in the state affairs these two contradictory things goes together these two contradictory things goes together that is something surprising but i found so what i thought nowadays instead of repeating everything one after the other total five or six points i put together thank you very much my pranam to you